What's going on YouTube, GSNO right here. So in today's video, we're talking about whether it's possible or not to update the check range jailbreak for A12 and A13 devices in the future. And the answer is not as simple as yes or no, because it might be possible. And that's because the exploit behind the check range is not fully patched in A12 and A13. This video is brought to you by Anytrans and their contest where you can win the new iPhone 12. All you have to do to be able to participate is to share the story behind your first iPhone with the hashtag backup with any trans on your social media. Check it out in the link below. So as you probably remember, Axiomex, a developer in the community, released a year ago iPondBFU with the Checkmate exploit, an open source, completely unpatchable bootroom exploit for hundreds of millions of devices. So this is what powers the entire Checkrain jailbreak. This is the only reason the Checkrain jailbreak works. But the Checkmate exploit is actually a bootroom exploit that works on the iPhone 10 and lower. Theoretically, it's been patched in A12 devices, which is the iPhone XS, XS Max, XR and stuff like that, and of course subsequently in the iPhone 11 Pro, 11 Pro Max and stuff like that. Only that it hasn't been patched correctly. It has been patched correctly, the exploit doesn't work, but it's not fully patched on those devices. So while the memory leak that is actually used in the uh, iPhone DFU, Checkmate and stuff like that was patched, making the exploit not work on the A12 and A13, the use after free vulnerability behind it has not been patched patched and at this point it's way too late for Apple to do that because exploits like the Checkmate cannot be patched if they are left in the chip by the time the phone is produced. And of course with A12 and A13 the UAF or use after free vulnerability was left in there even though they patched the memory leak. Now Proteus, a security researcher in our community has tried a couple of days ago to somehow exploit the vulnerability on A12 and they posted quote Checkmate A12 never thought memory leaks is so important to exploitation and they posted the snippet of code in here. Now they followed it up a couple of hours after that with current status failed to implement exploit. Why is this important? Well because we got some information about what is wrong with the exploit on A12 and whether it's possible to fix it or not. So I talked with Proteus but I'm not going to show you the messages because I did not get the permission to show you the actual messages though I can share their content. Proteus told me that it is indeed possible to update the checkmate exploit so that it would work with the A12 and A13 devices and that's because Apple did not patch the use after free just a memory leak but for that we would need a new memory leak and not any memory leak we need one that can be used for memory feng shui so it's not exactly an easy feat. Saigusa another security researcher in our community does provide a glimpse on what we actually need they say quote we need either of a single leak we can trigger while the DFU buffer is not allocated or a leak we can trigger repeatedly and publicly we have neither at this point but it's possible in theory to update the uh, checkmate to work with the A12 and A13 if we can find a new leak to trigger those vulnerabilities. However, for check rain on A12 and A13, it's not only the bootroom exploit that is required as of iOS 14. There is a reason why I put iOS 14.0 and 14.0.1 in the title, because it changes the way we have to jailbreak with the check rain. If you check out the preliminary support for iOS 14 document they posted in here, you can see that they talk about Blackbird a vulnerability for SEP and how it's not even working on A11 devices like the iPhone 8, 8 Plus and iPhone 10. Now why is that relevant right now? Well before iOS 14 all we needed for Checkrain to work on any iOS version was basically the bootroom exploit which cannot be patched by Apple. But Apple decided to be smart on iOS 14 and they decided to implement a SEP mitigation, which now prevents the device from decrypting the user data if the device boots from DFU mode, which of course when you're using the Checkrain application you absolutely have to do. The Checkrain boots the device from DFU, so at that point SEP would just refuse to decrypt the data and you cannot boot the device. Apple knew they are not able to patch the vulnerabilities in here, it's way too late to patch a bootroom exploit by now. Once the phone leaves the factory doors, there is no way for Apple to update the bootroom. That's why they cannot fix it on the A12 iPhone because they actually fixed the memory leak, basically making Checkmate not be triggerable on the A12, but they did not patch the use after free, which means that if we can find another suitable memory leak, we are able to trigger that even on A12 and A13. Saigusa confirmed this by saying, quote, the UAF or use after free is still there on A13. But realistically talking, this is actually a very hard thing to do. We would need a memory leak to be burned that would basically allow the Checkmate to work on the a12 and a13 
13 and that's possibly a very expensive vulnerability and aside from that even if we can get the check rain to work with the new bootroom exploit for the a12 and a13 sep would prevent us from being able to jailbreak properly and from being able to boot the device so we would also need a sep vulnerability to bypass that so to find a sep vulnerability for the a12 and a13 devices that would be a very expensive sep vulnerability and to have it work on the ios 14 it would make it even more expensive so i don't exactly see check rain being updated anytime soon for the a12 and a13 devices even though theoretically parts of the vulnerability exploited by checkmate are still there on a12 and a13 and cannot ever be patched by apple on those devices thank you for watching i am gios now till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out